हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ द सेकंड वीडियो इनटू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मशीन लर्निंग सो इन अ फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट व्हाट इज़ मशीन लर्निंग एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग इन द रियल वर्ल्ड सो एक्जेक्टली मशीन लर्निंग्स डेफिनेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वील सी अबाउट how this machine learning uh, system works what are the different stages of that machine learning system uh, in a general way uh, independent of uh, whatever the uh, machine learning algorithm uh, you are using and uh, we'll compare it with the one uh, real uh, example that how different stages of machine learning will fit to the uh, that, that example so uh, let us see how machine learning actually works so machine learning is uh, basically the two step uh, uh, process so one is the training process and another is a testing process so a uh, combination of these two uh, combinedly will create the total machine learning uh, system this training process usually uh, done into offline mode and testing is in online world now what does this offline and online mean uh, the offline uh, here in this sense that once you have a huge amount of uh, 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 data you train on it and you create uh, some model out of it and whenever you have a testing uh, uh, data available you feed that testing data into the, the model and in a run time you decide what are the, your predicted output or what are your uh, labels associated with once you know how basic building blocks of that machine learning system you will understand what is the offline process and what is the online process but generally this training happens into offline mode and uh, testing happens into online mode now let us see individual uh, uh, system that uh, training uh, system that how training system uh, works L let's say we have a huge amount of uh, data in either image uh, speech data or uh, text data so what we do into training system training system first uh, it is a kind of small uh, pre-processing steps or uh, feature uh, extractor uh, kind of step which will eventually come up with a uh, lot of uh, feature extracted from that uh, raw data now why this step is necessary because uh, whatever the data available into the real world that is not a in a purest form so you have to do some kind of pre-processing uh, pre-processing in the sense let's take an example of image data so image now it it requires some kind of uh, mm, resizing of to the particular size and uh, if image is uh, blurred you need to a uh, little bit enhance uh, it and uh, so this kind of pre-processing and you extract the features out of it uh, and uh, you will get extracted feature so in a training system the first step is you go through this pre-processing and a feature extractor uh, step now if you have a label associated with each and every examples uh, in your uh, training uh, data so uh, combinedly as an input to the system you have a huge amount of data and a label associated with each uh, uh, data now you fit those both of the things into this machine learning al uh, machine learning algorithm which is nothing but you it, this is a kind of iterative process so uh, you, once you feed it into the machine learning uh, algorithm you will come up with the model or the representation of that uh, data that is nothing but the end of your uh, training uh, system this model is nothing uh, uh, but how your data has been correlated how your data is the representation uh, in your abstract uh, form so what is the abstract level representation of your data is nothing but the your uh, model so this is how training system uh, generally uh, works so if you observe 
this machine learning algorithm so this is not a um, kind of simple basic uh, building blocks it's a kind of uh, very much iterative process so let's see how this actual learning happens provided if you have a input uh, uh, data and uh, tax and label associated uh, with that okay so how this learning happens it's a kind of iterative uh, process so uh, you have a image speech or either a uh, text data associated with that and you have an actual output label uh, uh, you have fit each and every record of image so suppose uh, there is a one cat image and you have a label associated with that is like a, a cat you have suppose some sentence and that sentence is kind of in a mm, happy sentence or a, uh, very bad sentence uh, uh, this way now what will you do you apply this uh, data into the machine learning algorithm and you will get uh, you will come up with some kind of uh, uh, output but that output may not be uh, exactly same as actual output what you need so you need some kind of comparator so what this comparator uh, will do it will compare your actual output which is predefined in your actual training data uh, uh, set and you compare it with the expected output which we obtain through the machine learning uh, algorithm you compare it now suppose uh, after comparison if you get the different set you update this uh, pa parameter of this machine learning uh, algorithm if you find it uh, um, smooth like uh, expected output and actual output is safe kind of don't update it if you find it difference you update it again machine learning will algorithm will uh, work on that uh, uh, actual training data it will get some kind of uh, expected output again you compare it and you update it so it's a kind of uh, iterative process in these three uh, blocks which will continuously uh, uh, work so till you do not get the satisfaction uh, uh, you keep uh, iterating this uh, uh, pro process generally people do like a uh, hundred times or even 500 times or thousand times uh, uh, this process uh, works till you do not get the sufficient amount of accuracy which is desired to you so this is how the training system works and this whole process then on an offline mode once you complete this you have a more model available uh, with you which is nothing but the representation of the data now uh, let us see how the testing system works so testing system uh, this model is kind of uh, uh, you have already got from the the training uh, what you have done now you apply this test data into the uh, model uh, which you obtain into uh, while training and you will get some kind of predicted uh, label so and this predicted label you will compare with whatever you have defined uh, predicted uh, label and you can get accuracy something like uh, out of 100 uh, example how many are correct that will define ultimately your accuracy and this is all done into online mode because in a real time you are getting the data and you are nothing but you are classifying those data into particular uh, class or you are predicting some kind of uh, integer values uh, we'll see uh, into different algorithms how uh, machine learning system works then you will come to know about that what kind of this labels are that how you fit the data into models and everything okay so this is how training and testing system uh, will uh, work but this is a very abstract level representation at the block diagram level uh, let us see uh, how the one of the example uh, will fit into this training and uh, testing uh, system so this machine learning is nothing but about nothing but it's uh, automation but it's not just automation it's a one level level above the automation it's automating your automation uh, task so uh, you might be using either this uh, 
Microsoft Outlook or Gmail or Yahoo Mail. So if you have observed one thing, they have created a some kind of a rule system inside that. That rule is uh, nothing but a kind of automation stuff. So if you want to categorize your email, like uh, suppose uh, some email contains this kind of word, then uh, you put those email into a specific. Uh, uh, A folder. Suppose if you get a uh, email from uh, this many person and you put it into some uh, some other folder. So in this way you are classifying uh, while cre by creating lot of rules inside uh, rules inside that uh, Microsoft Outlook. Uh, but those rule uh, you are uh, hard coded. You are uh, yourself creating um, based on your uh, email. Based on your emails and what are the your requirement, so that we call as a just an automation task. Now, how machine learning is going one step ahead with the help of training and testing system, and it's it itself automating your automation task. So let's see what is going on here into training, and it will. Uh, going one step beyond the automation. So this rule creation process, what we did, that is a completely by ourselves. That is a human created based on their uh, requirement. But what machine learning system says in the training process, this rule creation process can be automated in a training phase with a machine learning algorithm. So you supply your huge huge amount of data. And in unsupervised day, data is nothing but here your lots of emails, and each email is associated with some kind of tag, or either in unsupervised uh, algorithm, you do not require even that tag, and it will cluster your email into particular kind of category. But that that is nothing but the rules it has automatically created uh, for you. And then in a testing system, the testing system can be classified. Then email you can classify it with the help of uh, those uh, those rule. So in a runtime, whatever the new email comes, based on whatever the training happens, you uh, you fit that uh, email into this uh, uh, model, and it will classify uh, that uh, that what action you should take. Uh, Based on the training rules we have generated, so this way uh, we are automating even the rule creation part. That's why machine learning is the one step beyond automation. That is automating your automation uh, tasks. Uh, so that's it uh, for the today's uh, lecture. Into subsequent lecture, we'll see about what are the different. types of machine learning uh, systems are there and uh, what are the different algorithms and uh, we'll see how to implement into famous uh, python library uh, also uh, thank you guys for uh, watching please do like and uh, subscribe but if you don't understand uh, anything please uh, comment it okay thank you guys for watching